in my video. As you guys know, the Titan Explorer was heading back to Seattle after finishing their salmon tendering contract, and the Titan Explorer and crew made it back safely tonight. I went to the Seattle boat locks to film the Titan Explorer come through them to head to Fisherman's Terminal. And then I went over to Fisherman's Terminal to see him dock there, and it was really cool to see, and I got to meet some people I've seen for a while, and through deadliest catch groups and pictures and stuff, and I got to meet my friend Pat Wolf. That was really cool. And then I got to meet Jeff Pond and his wife at the boat locks, and then at Fisherman's Terminal when the Titan Explorer came through. And then I got to meet Felipe, and Rolando, who are an uh, engineer and deckhand on the Titan Explorer. And then I saw Ryan Bradley and Jake Anderson and his family and Jenna, his wife, and it was really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this video of the Titan Explorer coming through the Seattle boat locks and docking at Fisherman's Terminal. The Titan Explorer will be here for about two, three weeks before they head back up to Alaska to head to Dutch Harbor to get ready and prep for their fall king crab season. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Titan Explorer about to come into the Seattle boat locks after coming down from Alaska from salmon tendering. And they're all waiting with their pockets open, man. I just want to say hi to them when they come home. Yep. And be happy they made it home. That's why if the wives or girlfriends or whatnot are here, we don't normally do pictures of, we don't do pictures of any of yeah. that. Yeah. We just step aside because I don't want to get in the middle of that. I'm not trying to get pictures of that. You know, I mean, yeah, they make for good pictures, but that's their moment of being happy. It's like when I was telling him, he makes his YouTube videos and stuff like that. I'm like, I thought cool of them, but you know, they're, they're trying at their time. Yeah. And when they get off that boat, they're going to want to run and hop and find the fuck out of them. Yep. Not the bow for you. <laughs> you see him? Oh, yeah, posing. So why aren't they taking a picture of all of us taking Oh, he probably <laughs> is. Probably. <laughs> he probably is. Uh, yeah, it is. Ryan, Ryan's up on top up there. Right to the right. That, of the... Ryan's up over on that yeah. side. By the window. Yeah, they're going to tie up on the other side. Yeah, we're going to get over there when this shot. Is it, are you guys parked on this side? Yeah, parked over here. Yeah, i got to make it all the way to the other side. I'm parked up here. Then we're going to go down and meet them when they get to the other side. See Jake's up on the port side. Yeah. Oh, 
leave, John. Here comes the Tiny Explorer about to dock at Fisherman's Terminal. I can barely even log off and take that off. I think my wife and I are the only ones that never used it. I, I watch everybody else's stuff. <laughs> I don't have anything on it. Everybody at work is doing them, and I've never, I don't even know how to get on it. I just learned how to make one of those videos. <laughs> what another drive by? <laughs> There's Ryan on the pot launcher. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Titan Explorer coming back home from salmon tendering season and docking over at Fisherman's Terminal. While the 
Tiny Explorers in Seattle. I will keep you guys updated on it, and I will try and catch it heading out for, for fall king crab season when it heads out. So stay tuned for those updates and the video of it heading out over the next couple of weeks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon down below so you can be notified when I upload videos. Also, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you guys for watching. And if you ain't dreaming, you ain't living. Don't forget to dream big.